Hey, it's Upstate Eats. My name is Katrina Lee, and I'm one of your hosts. My other host is in Phoenix and testing out some new food and traveling around for work. So I'm excited to hear about her adventures when we get back. But you can check us out on Facebook. We are Upstate Eats. And we had Doug from the Reverend House. We're going to talk to him about one of our venues and how he experienced his restaurant and hear about the menu, drink selections, and how it works. So I'm excited. So why don't you say hi and talk to our listeners? Hello, everyone. Um, like she had mentioned, my name is Doug, and I am the general manager at The Revelry uh, over on University Avenue. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Um, How long have you worked there? I've worked there um, coming up on two years right after this summer is done. I've been the general manager for almost a year now, and I honestly... I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I really do. I really love um, having an actual purpose and a responsibility inside of a restaurant. Uh, and as well as out, of course, uh, there comes a lot of, you know, tedious uh, paperwork and running around that I get to do. But a lot of fulfillment that I feel uh, at the end of the day when, you know, a party goes right or, yeah. you know. Guests leave happy. <laughs> His memories they'll never forget if you do it successful. That's right. I mean, we all go out to eat. You, of course. That's yeah. why I'm here. And <laughs> you never forget about those times where you walk out and you go, you know, I had a near perfect dining experience from the moment I walked in to the food to the drink to even when I was leaving, you know, the way that they said their goodbyes. It's yeah. I, I really strive for that entire uh, kind of immersion when you're in a restaurant, especially obviously in the revelry. Yeah. Now, are you guys, uh, do you have special areas for banquets or weddings or how does it work? So in your facility, we have uh, a few different kind of areas that you can rent out. Um, none that can really hold, let's say a crazy like hundred or 150, uh, guest count, but we do have three options. And if you've ever been inside of the Revelry before, I'm sure you've noticed that there is a glass floor right when you walk in that either you love it or you hate it. I know there's guests that will walk over it and say, you know, I'm never walking over that again or refuse to walk over it. It's kind of uh, if you've ever been to the CN Tower or anywhere that okay. has like a glass floor that you can see down. Uh, so you walk in and under the glass floor is our wine cellar where I often hold dinners, uh, special occasions. I've honestly even had just a couple down there celebrating an anniversary where, you know, one of them will come in and do the whole roses and they'll have some romantic music on. Oh, wow. Um, our second area is kind of the more standing, mingling, getting a little messed up, drinking, you know, smashing glasses, get up partying. <laughs> uh, and that's on the first floor, kind of near the main bar. The last area is our private dining room. That That's kind of the more sit down, eat. Uh, if you are with like a company, a pharmaceutical company, which often come into the restaurant, uh, we can do like AV screen type of setups. And okay. that's where you sit and eat and, you know, talk about whatever. Or if it's like a graduation celebration, I have one of those coming up next week. You okay. Just come. Put some balloons up and decorate and, you know, get rowdy in there, too. <laughs> yeah, no, that makes sense. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the whole the whole point of the revelry itself, it's in the name. It's to, you know, revel, to, to party, to get loud, to get crazy. That's kind of what we strive to do is create this environment where when you walk in, it is an overwhelming feeling of like, okay, this place is like where I want to be. I want to, you know, drink and I want to eat and I want to create memories with my friends that's yeah, that's yeah. what i love about it <laughs> that's awesome so what's your favorite uh, cocktail to make <sighs> oh my goodness i mean me personally if i had to choose a cocktail to make it would be one of the most simple ones that we have on our cocktail menu and my personal like favorite tasty yeah. one it's the called the guava god really super easy to make it's guava simple syrup and some <clears throat> some lemon you toss that sucker in there and I swear to you, it is dangerously good. Mm. You start drinking it, 
all of a sudden it's done and you are on your third one. You're on your fourth one. Oh, yeah. And that's when <laughs> that whole party of, you know, reveling, and, the reveling and hitting occurs. glasses together. <laughs> it's it's really it, – that's my favorite drink to – to get down on i'm a, i'm personally a wine a, more of on the wine side of things oh, okay uh i i just love wine I i'm a vodka it. drinker yeah i love vodka <laughs> well, flavored vodka martinis are my thing that's so. uh, the guava god is made with vodka so yeah that's your i'm, I'm telling yeah. you right now oh my gosh and vodka i mean it's even better <laughs> you will get messed up it's yeah, seriously. I don't know. I'm kind of a champ. No, no, I'm trying to stay away from <laughs> <laughs> and behave. But yeah. Um, so, did you, what were you guys involved with this year with the uh, craft cocktail revival? So the, it's funny you bring it up. Um, I'm gonna give a quick shout out. We won the battle royale this year. Okay. So every year the Rochester cocktail revival goes from obviously you know Monday to the Sunday, and on Sunday. All of the bars that were a part of the RCR put up their uh, one of their bartenders to compete in this battle royale. Okay. The battle royale is like, you know, make three drinks and then make a fourth drink. And you're in front of hundreds of people and four judges. And uh, one of the head bartenders there, his name is Steve, he's also my best friend in the whole world. Yeah. Uh, he won. So he is the undefeated RCR Bar Ninja Champion uh, for 2019. Awesome. So, sorry, I kind of got a little side. Good luck. Here. I mean, congratulations <laughs> on him. He's, he's the impressive. man. Um, if you ever come in, you have to have him make you a cocktail. He's, he's truly great. So, this year on Wednesday, okay, we had ourselves a good old-fashioned pig roast outside. Okay. And, of course, the one event that we have outside is literally downpouring. Oh. So as soon as we got in for the day, I'm like already stressed out about the event and yeah. the whole week of events, of course. And we ended up building one of those like wedding tents, you know, the ones that have like the tall, like canopy style thing in there. Yeah. We built one of those outside. Then we had all these tents outside that were just trying to like create somewhere to sit under to eat this pig. <laughs> Uh, so Wednesday we did the pig roast and people are literally outside with umbrellas eating pig. It was insane. Yeah. Friday. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if you're familiar with like the genre of music called synth wave. Not really. Okay. So it's kind of like, it's very difficult to explain, but I will do my best. Okay. Uh, if you've ever seen the movie drive, uh, or if you've ever watched the show, the, sh uh, stranger things, it's kind of that soundtrack. So it's more. Uh, 80s style, okay. but kind of like a new age, okay. 80s style, like pop. So we had this party, the synthwave party, where we spent all this money on like cool lights and like crazy imagery, and we had a DJ like jamming tunes all night. Yeah. And I normally am not the type to get a little crazy, especially at work, but this was like my heaven. I love that type of music. Okay. And I'm in my favorite place in the world, so of course I'm going to get a little wild. So we danced all night. Then on Sunday, uh, as we do usually every single year, is our hip-hop brunch where we get a DJ in. To... I saw that one. I was going to go. Uh, I didn't have time to. I was crazy. so excited. It was on my to-do list. I was so interested. I saw the events on Facebook. So – Hip hop brunch is. That'd like, be fun. Remind me of like you know uh, gin and juice it, and that's you know the type of, California Love. Like, literally, that's regulate the music. by Word G and Nate Dog. You know, I thought it'd be like that. That's the music that we're <laughs> playing right there. Yeah. Seriously, like blaring loud, and this is at 11 a.m. I get into work at quarter to 10. Yeah, I'm running around trying to set all this stuff up. The music is just blaring at 11. I'm like, I need coffee. I need to, like, hide in the office. But it is a spectacle. And it was beautiful that day. So there's the the patio was crowded. The bar was crowded. And I'm trying to, like, you I know. I believe it. it, it it's crazy. Hip-hop brunch is – it. I can't believe that it is as popular as it is considering it's the last day of RCR. So it's like – aren't you like partied out? Like, right. aren't, isn't everyone like, Oh man, I got hammered Saturday night, but Oh yeah, I'm still drunk. Let's just go drink bloody Mary's and listen to nineties hip hop blaring in my ears. I mean, Hey, that, I guess that's what people are into. And it, and it was a lot, a lot of fun. 
I believe it. Yeah, yeah, I missed that one, but it was on my list. I was like, oh, no. Did but... you get your? Uh, did you get out at all, go to any of the a events? A little bit, not too much. Uh, this year I had, I was actually filming, so mm-hmm. I was up in Syracuse during most of it. Got so it. I was filming, quote, Paper Spiders. So. Cool. Is that the, like, working title? Yeah, well, it changes, then it comes out. You're like, oh, that's what it is. Yeah. So, like, I filmed uh, the uh, the first Purge, and the title was actually Island Experiment. <laughs> so you didn't know what it is, so it comes Got out. It. And then you're like, oh, that's the movie I'm in. That's cool. And so the one that's coming out was a, a fiancé killer, but it's actually called Stage Killer. So I'm on Netflix on the 25th. Nice. So you can see, see that's it. so fun. It's, fu- it's, it's you know. really... They have to keep that kind of stuff like hush, hush. Yeah, huh? and yeah. then they wait till it comes out, and then you can say, "Oh, there's me, and I was in it." But you wait, and then you don't know. Yeah, and you're not really sure the names. You got to keep up with it. I know? saw the first purge. My girlfriend and I went. I think on opening weekend and yeah. saw it. And I, I haven't even like seen all the, uh, the purge movies. I think I've seen like the first one. Yeah, and then... they weren't my thing either, honestly. But it I mean, was, it's, like, a, a, it's a cool concept, you know. Yeah, Whatever. it's different. So I saw it, and then so when I'm the person who twirls around and like I die, yeah. so when they shoot me, I'm assuming soon, and she doesn't actually do the fall. I do. Got it. See, that's cool. Yeah. I'd so. be in a movie getting murdered. Yeah, and I did everything before, but you don't really see my face ever. So I'm mm-hmm. like, but that's me. That's so. me. I'm telling you, look at my <laughs> hips. Like, come like, on. <laughs> like, you could know it's me. <laughs> like, look, I got the paycheck subs at least. You know, that's how I got my SAG card. No, We're all yeah. out here trying to get the check. That's just yeah, how life is. Like, whatever. Know. So I got a lot of opportunities after that. It's been pretty fun. So. That's cool. We're coming. I'm excited. Love so. to hear about yeah. it. Fun, fun. Nice. Now, so um, what is your favorite entree? Or you, what do you suggest for everyone to eat when uh, they go visit? So I get this question a lot, especially when I was serving. Yeah. And uh, my big, like, I guess, quote, unquote, secret to when I was serving was that you definitely want to, you know, guide the guest experience um, and be knowledgeable enough to where they feel like, you know, they're they're someone special because truly everyone that does come in is someone special okay and you want to treat every single table like um it's their either their first time here they're a regular guest like regulars or they're you know someone that's gonna leave and walk out and and leave a review right away yeah so whenever i get that question uh i will honestly say you know when i like to come here unique because i do eat there every night essentially yeah. Um, the main entree that I think everyone should come try uh, is the sea bass. Okay. I have heard nothing but amazing things about that dish. What type of sauce is it in? Uh, the sea bass itself doesn't really come in like like a sauce, okay. I guess you could say. Okay, because there's a restaurant I used to get Chilean sea bass. It was an oxtail sauce. Yeah, I used it, to love that. So it, I it's Chilean sea bass was. is yeah. right. So you... If you've had that before, I love it. It's amazing. We're going sure. up. If you, I'm telling you, that sea bass you had, whatever the one that is, come here. It's going up. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, no, it was one of my favorite entrees. So good. Like, it's been a while since I found it anywhere. Well, come, <laughs> hey, I got you your vodka, right? And now we got you your sea bass. <laughs> right. There's only one more step we gotta go, you know, and that's dessert. Right. That's uh, don't even get me started. I love chocolate more than anything in the world. <laughs> So, all right, we are going to cut a song break, and we shall return. We are up to eats at RochesterFreeRadio.com, 106.3 Rochester Free Radio. Hey, welcome to Upstate Eats. Just your host, Katrina Lee, and we have Doug in the house from Elvary. We are 106.3 Rochester Free Radio, 106.3 Rochester Free Radio.com, WRFC LP Rochester. You can find us on Facebook, Upstate Eats, and uh, let's continue on with our conversation and see where we're heading. You got it. Um, shout out to Green. Who was that? Green Day playing? I think so. That's yeah. Green Day. Yeah. Shout out to Green it's Day. It's all food related songs. So it said food in the title or something. So Got it. Okay. For this show at least. Okay. Of course. Like Peaches was on, and you know they all. What is that Green Day song called? I'm not sure. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. I'm more of a Blink-182 fan myself. I do like them from years ago. I know it's a mix. I literally, like, Googled and, like, food-related songs. Like, we have a whole mix, like, from, a, like, you know, Blueberry Hill and all That's really stuff. funny. American Pie. Gary, what was the song from Green Day called? I that is Brain Stew. 
brain, brain stew. stew. Okay, Got it. stew. Cool. Yeah, that's probably why I had nice. stew in it. So, yeah. <laughs> Got some zombie thing happening. Yeah. So, what is your uh, um, restaurant's information? Like, do you guys have Facebook, Instagram? Oh, we got it all. I mean, it's 2019. If you yeah. don't have the Instagram and the Facebook, and I mean, honestly, some places now have Snapchat. Some places have yeah Twitter that mm-hmm. they literally sit on there and will be like tweeting back at people and stuff. But we do have uh, Instagram. It is uh, the Revelry Rock. Rock is R O C. Uh, the Facebook is the same thing. Facebook.com slash the Revelry Rock. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, honestly, if you go scroll through the pictures, you'll see a ton of me. You'll see a ton of the drinks and the food and talk about happy hour and stuff. Yeah. So. Now, do you guys have um, Grubhub or DoorDash or what do you have? For... We're technically not on DoorDash. Okay. But uh, DoorDash often orders through us which is cool yeah we don't have like the the setup to do grubhub okay but you know we we do to go obviously so get something to go come on in i guarantee you will see me there that's just how it is i mean i was there today yeah and then i left to come here so i'm i'm usually in that building somewhere yeah you'll see a little dude in a suit person yeah yeah well, I mean, I... I'll sit in the studio, and then I get hungry during my one show, and I'm like, all right, who can we get to feed us? So, What's that other show? Beyond the Pole, but it's going to be Life Without Shame Generation 2. We're combining it. Nice. So. Okay. A little savage. It's Life fun. Without Shame? What's that? Um, It was a big show back in the 90s. It's hitting its 25-year anniversary. They used mm-hmm. to have Bum Olympics. Um, they were like the first strip club reviews of like the Mirage, oh. the Mirage Palace, like <laughs> okay. back in the day, yeah. um, all over. And it was before like the real world even came out and mm-hmm. it was very controversial. So they had like all these women's groups and everyone was speaking against them and it was a big deal. So it's hitting 25 years and I worked wow. with the co-guys who so were doing the 25 year anniversary. Mm-hmm. So we're starting Life Without Shame Generation 2 because I love Beyond the Pool. I started it two and a half years ago. It's great. I'm really happy with the success. But I'm not really involved in the adult industry anymore because now I have other jobs. Of course. It went more mainstream. So what I'm doing is I'm combining it. So now it's going to be like adult strip club porn reviews and then it's going to turn into like wild, wacky things. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's cool. That's fun. Yeah. So this is actually what kind of caused some of the chaos. Um, So I was actually at uh, the strip club because I sell dancer clothing in Mm -hmm. Erie, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. So normally, like, I mean, let's make this show a little fun today. Well, I'm going to say you brought up Erie, (laughs) Pennsylvania. I've done my fair share of traveling through there. And when you're on, you know, the 15 going south. You're going to see strip clubs. That's just how it is. Yes. Or, and you're going to see, like, adult stores. There's a bunch, yeah. yeah. And so Erie has different food, too, which we'll get into. So but so I'm going down to Erie, Pennsylvania, and I'm selling at the strip club because I have for years partners in Erie, Pennsylvania, Harbor Creek, actually. Mm-hmm. And I sell dancer clothes in the back for 18 years now. Cool. And um, that's how I kind of got self-finance and blah, blah, blah into the yeah. radio. And so um, I'm there, and I was talking to this guy, and he's a competitive eater. Okay. And it was really fascinating. Uh-huh. He was saying how he was starting a YouTube channel. He's getting competitive eating, and he was traveling around, and there was, like, a hot dog contest, and one where he had to eat seven pounds of pasta. So okay. was, each was a different <laughs> pound of pasta, and he had to do it in under 30 minutes. And mm-hmm. so he, like, tested himself with rice to see if he could do it. Yeah. So, I mean, this guy was ridiculous. He was like, Hideously awkward and like mm. ugly, and then he had this giant like <laughs> fro, and he just looks real strange. Well, I mean, when I think of competitive eating, <laughs> I don't, I don't picture a guy that looks like Clark Kent or Superman, you know? <laughs> I know right. So, yeah. So he's talking about it. I'm like, oh, and then he's talking about like hot sauce competitions and this thing with hot dogs, and it was just all odd and how he's gonna come up. And then he did like a garbage plate one is coming up in Rochester mm-hmm. soon, and it was like interesting. So the only reason I was even talking to him just because I was. Like, maybe I can use you for my food show. Yeah. Or even, you know, a joke for life without shame. And, like, I mean, you can eat me, like, you know, fat girls can be wrestling with you. Oh, you can be goodness. eating food off of them. Something <laughs> bizarre, you know? Because, yeah. I mean, that's what the show's based on. So. And this is how you became to start the Upstate Eats? Yeah. Well, no, I started with Beyond the Pool, and my show is really it. kind of top dog. So then okay. they gave me another show because they're like, you're fun. Nice. We like you. Well, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. See, the, I mean, <laughs> Uh, this is a great place to do a food show. Yeah. Like I kind of spoke to you uh, earlier, Rochester is definitely an up-and-coming place when it comes to food. Yeah, especially because it's close, close to the Finger Lakes, and there's mm-hmm. a lot of farm-to-table, mm-hmm. and there's a lot of wine sauvignons out here as opposed to other areas, yeah. which is amazing. It's really our- crazy. Uh, a lot of the guests that come in will 
specifically ask for Finger Lakes wines. Yeah. And it's cool when you live in the area, you kind of know about it. Well, not everyone, but the majority of guests who come and drink and they're familiar with Finger Lakes wines really like them. But if you aren't familiar with it, you think, oh, it's the Finger Lakes. Like, yeah. how good can the wine be? But I'm going to go out on a limb and say that some of the wines that I've tasted from a bunch of different uh, producers and wine yeah. uh, uh, sellers and such from the Finger Lakes are outstanding. They rival uh, Napa Valley. They rival, I don't really want to say any, anywhere French because I'm yeah, like yeah, yeah. A very biased when it comes to French wines. I love <laughs> French wine. But honestly, they, they're, they're amazing. And I definitely think a lot more people should understand that wines that come from the Finger Lakes are really amazing. Okay. Seriously. No, I agree. I went, I was living in Cuca for a while, so I pretty much hit, and I was with an alcoholic, so we kind of, and I kind of <laughs> They go hand in hand. Yeah, we kind of went to every winery. Yeah. So Dr. Frank's is great, and they give you free samples. Cool. Now in uh, Rochester, I'm a member of the Wine Club for Life with Casa Larga. Nice. That's fun. It's like popping there. It's close by the mall, too, mm -hmm. and I like the Lilac Hill, which yeah. you can get at like every festival they have in Rochester, Party in the Park and all of yeah. them. So. Have you been to the winery that is on a uh, university called Living Roots? I have not been there. You should go there. It is great and an outstanding place to try some New World wines. Uh, they have some wines from the Finger Lakes as well as Australia. Okay. So it's kind of like a cool, I don't, I mean, this doesn't really have to do with, you know, the yeah. revelry or my company. No, but, no, I mean, but, it's I a mean, food show. It's all about all different topics. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't uh, have to be, yeah. They uh, <laughs> are right across the street from us, so obviously we have a great relationship and the way that their kind of winery got started was the wife and the husband the wife is from here and the husband is from australia yeah so they got married and it kind of their wine represents that a little bit too because mm -hmm. their wine is from finger lakes but it's also from australia okay and it's a great representation of new world wines if you like that style of wine it yeah. is awesome. awesome i love that place it's great okay yeah yeah, no, where I'm from originally is uh, more um, in Buffalo area, not mm -hmm. even, it's more South Towns. East mm -hmm. Aurora, Buffalo, or like a Holland. Got it. So they have Savage Winery yeah. is out there. I've And that was a newer, it wasn't when I was growing up, it kind of popped after I fled the town because yeah. it's like one stoplight and, you know, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> is that near Tonawanda? No, okay. it's, it's like 40 minutes actually from oh, there. Really? It's even worse. It's like in the boonies. Yeah. So, I mean, the closest would be the ski resorts, like Kissing Bridge and stuff. Okay. And you get kind of... It's really in the middle of nowhere. Nice. Maybe if you were like a hunter and you had a cabin isolated. Yeah. You <laughs> and know. you know you like killed people and yeah, buried their there's, bodies there's out there. There's nothing in the town at all. See, I, I knew this was going to happen. Everyone, when I told them I was going to be on the show from 8 to 9, they yeah. were like, you're going to talk for an hour? I'm like, yes. And I know as soon as we get off topic about something, it's going to go like right downhill. Just oh, yeah, talking. Oh, yeah. No, I'm bad with that too. So I'm just like, man, I'm like, okay, let's make sure it does, this doesn't turn into beyond the pole yeah. on accident. You know, <laughs> keep it filtered out. It's not 10 o'clock yet. Of course. After 10, I can talk about anything. Yeah. Not right now. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I honestly, I, I've only been in probably one or two strip clubs in my entire life. And that was yeah. like 10 years ago for real. They have really good chicken wing deals. Really? Almost all of them had the best wings. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You got to lure the guys in, especially during lunch and stuff it's, like that. Yeah. So they usually have like, like 50 cent chicken wing oh specials goodness. and we don't have, we don't do anything like that but there's yeah. a lot of guys who come in and they want to eat their wings and they then they leave and they're just there for the cheap wings and yeah. then sometimes like you watch them you got to be careful they don't wash their hands and they're back and they're all grabby you're of like oh no like, no okay, don't touch my, there my it might burn bur yeah no. <laughs> uh, so speaking about chicken wings taking yeah. back on topic we have great chicken wings <laughs> the revelry yeah. Ooh, what type of sauces so, do you have they come with uh it comes with an alabama white sauce which is kind of like I don't even know how to describe it. It's okay. got a little bit of kick to it. Yeah. Uh, and also a blue cheese. So okay. you can't go wrong. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'll do a white sauce. No, I haven't heard that. It's, look, this then place. It's like, so it's not like a mild, medium, high. It's no, like actually... no. Yeah. It's more creamy. Okay. It, it's, I'm telling you. That this, sounds interesting. If yeah. you did not know what the revelry was or if you've never been there, this place is unlike anywhere else. See, and I did the sampling, the tasting dinner. So yeah, I never, last year. And I, I, yeah, last year during mm -hmm. the revival, I didn't make it to the one that she did, so I'm not sure. Yeah. So I was, uh, I don't even know why I'm going back to this. I was going to say, <laughs> after like 11 or 12 o'clock on the weekends, yeah. it gets crazy in there. That place is 
a whole nother beast. Oh, I definitely gotta check it out. And, yeah. And I, I'm honestly not talking about it because I I'm you know, kinda wild. And it I'm, sounds fun. It's, that's the place <laughs> to go. And I'm not even saying this because, you know, I'm representing it and I'm yeah. a big part of it, but truly I have got I went there for an entire year to just experience it before I ever even considered working there. Okay. And it is it, it's it hits it all. You can bring a date there. You can you can come and just drink beer. Yeah. You can come and get the best cocktail in the area, which I am going to say that we have won 5 years in a row best craft cocktail bar. Perfect. Rochester's voted best craft cocktail bar and this year obviously like i mentioned earlier we have the bar ninja champion behind the bar and this year we have the best general manager in rochester i'm uh, right here i'm just kidding oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's me but i'm just kidding i love it, I love it. that's great that's a good one so one of my favorite things is when I did that tasting, there is a drink. I don't remember the name. I don't know if it was just specifically for that event, mm -hmm. but it had like an eyedropper and then you put it in and then it was all in like kind of like sensory. So you had, it was the more visual one. Got it. Okay. It was gorgeous. Yeah. It was really cool. I took some neat pictures, but mm -hmm. you know, like not like a professional photographer would. I, I think one of cool. the drinks that they made there too, uh, was there a, a gin drink that they made with like cucumber and lemon and mint does that sound familiar because i i think i remember them uh the old bar manager he was the one yeah. doing the drinks and stuff i think he made there might have been there's so, so many little sample ones i know one was an old-fashioned you did yourself mm -hmm. and they had um like they had a nick lip thing that had the bitters inside it and you bit it and i never saw anything like that before. I, oh, I've, see i wasn't even in so that, that room. was cool i was out like I was a server then, yeah. so I was out in the main dining room. I didn't work that party. Yeah. But that's cool. So How it was fun. neat. And then you took like the rock candy, broke it in, and then there is one that was like everyone had something smoked. Mm -hmm. So I did whiskey, which I guess they did the same this year. Yeah. And um, I don't know. There could have been one like that. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's a year. It's a and year ago. And in after a couple of drinks, you already have a drink or two before you get in there. <laughs> yeah. And when we went, they had the whole, which I thought was cool. I wanted to go this year, but like I said, I had a lot going on with my other job. But they had Hendrix. Mm -hmm. um, I like that gin and how they have that whole like they had like the jugglers and the guy on the stilts and stuff. Okay. And then yeah. they had like where they sliced the cucumber and it's like this whole like kind of cool van. So that was, I think, what I mentioned earlier. That yeah. drink with the gin and the cucumber. It's gotta be that, yeah. Uh, that's I must one have of, tried it. That's one of my other favorite cocktails that we have on the list still to this day it's called okay. the east ender east ender and um it is another dangerously good drink it's very refreshing it's very like you drink it on the patio you drink it during the summer days yeah and you will just keep going it's dangerous no that's awesome though yeah. now do you guys have a patio that has like um animal or pet friendly absolutely well, okay I, I mean me is it like a... all the time or small dogs or what's the limits or how does it work whatever you like I mean, realistically, we're not going to get too crazy with like, you know, but yeah. <laughs> uh, of course, I, me being like a dog person, I love when, I'm a when, dog person too. when people bring their dogs out. So, uh, we, yeah, we love, we love dogs out there. Okay. No, I was just checking because I know it's like the trend in a lot of places are, but then I know yeah. there's some controversy when some people do it. This so. isn't like a weird story, but it is very funny. Yeah. Uh, for hip hop brunch, there was a table that I saw a baby stroller. Okay. And. You know, I'm moving. It's the middle of service. I'm just thinking there's a baby at this table. There was a dog in the baby stroller. Oh, yeah. There was a dog in the baby stroller. You know. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, this is crazy, but... I mean, that would be it's my just mother. chilling in the baby that stroller. That my mom doing that. It's bad. My dog, like, just, he rolls over and he acts like a human. He crawls under my arms. And then my mom takes him and just treats him like he's a baby. And now he, like, begs to wear clothes. Really? He starts jumping up and looking <laughs> for it. He, like, pulls his clothes out of the laundry basket so he can be dressed. It's nuts. That sounds a lot like, uh... Like, my, he's, like, a little human. That sounds like my girlfriend and I's dog. His name is Logan. Yeah. He's the best. He's this, like, little chihuahua who's nine and... She had him uh, before we started dating. Yeah. But now him and I have this, like, cool relationship. But whenever <laughs> they're, like, together hanging out, cuddling, and then I, like, go try to, like, kiss her goodbye, he will, like, start growling. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. you little brat. Ten yeah, minutes yeah. ago when it was just me and you, you were completely fine. <laughs> No, I understand. I had the same thing with my ex. So. <laughs> yeah, the, the dog. I just no, mine. I know he would get like that. I think he would self sabotage his growl and like yeah. try to get or just crawl and keep pushing between us so it was like impossible. Uh -huh. And 
you know, spitefully pee on his clothes or something, you know. He's kind of like that. So his name's actually Booker the Hooker. So. Booker the Hooker. See, I like the name Booker. That would probably be my next dog. He name. was a rescue, so I didn't pick the name. I got kind of, it was a surprise one. So Booker he was so hooker. used to it. So Did you add the hooker on there? I added the hooker to make it. it more like spice because my other dog's dirtball and I have mm. stinky mofo. So I'm like, <laughs> I got to add it. So, and I actually got him from a stripper in Erie, Pennsylvania. So nice. There I was joking you... around. I'm like, Booker the Hooker. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense, Yeah, honestly. so they love me. But we're going to do a song break, and we shall return and finalize the show. Thanks. Hey, welcome back. We are Upstate Eats. This is RochesterFreeRadio.com, 106.3 Rochester Free Radio, WRFC LP Rochester. Find us on Upstate Eats on Facebook, and I'm Katrina Lee, and we have Doug from Reverly. And we're going to be wrapping up shortly, so we're going to do an over cap on where you're located and tell us the best, what you would suggest, suggest to order. Like, if you went there, what would you have as a drink, yep. appetizer, entree, and dessert? Why Got don't it. you let us know? All right, from the top, you're going to be starting with either a cocktail at the bar, because that's the way I like to eat. Yeah. Walk in, um, go to the bar, get a cocktail. Whatever spirit you want, honestly, you can just have the bartenders there make you anything. Okay. But me personally, I'm going to start with the Guava God of the East Ender. Okay. They're the easiest to drink. Uh, go upstairs, obviously, you know, for dinner. Yeah. Uh, going to start with the Cheddar Biscuits and the Ooh. Deviled Eggs. Those are the two go-to. If you also like seafood, we have a complete seafood bar. Aside from our regular cocktail bar, we have a seafood bar that does Raw oysters, crab legs, lobster rolls. Awesome. So, like, we, we really get into it. Some shrimp. It, it gets yeah. wild. Uh, for an entree, the person you're with, uh, they should get something along the lines of either the fried chicken okay. that holds true to kind of our southern vibe, our southern style, our okay. southern hospitality. Uh, you yourself are either going to get the culotte steak okay. or probably the grain bowl, which I'm going to say is underrated. It's our premier like vegetarian what is it, grain? Oh. our grain bowl. Oh. It's our premier like vegetarian dish and I think it is I think it's underrated and I love that dish and I know a lot of the bartenders that often eat there at night that eat meat and you know are love burgers and steaks. They get that because it's great protein. It's like it's healthy food, oh. but it's filling and it's tasty. Uh, to end, you're going to get the uh Cast iron cookie, okay. which is a hot, melted cookie with ice cream and caramel glaze. It's oh, just, wow, it's that wild. Amazing. It's nuts. Wow. It gets, yeah, I love that. I think I'm like, wow, I need that now. That's no. <laughs> that's top to bottom. That's top to bottom your entire experience. Okay. And I always suggest, you know, getting wine with dinner, of course. Of course, of course. So I'm uh, really glad you came on. So I'm glad for the suggestions. And what did we, uh, what did Marcel have when she ate with you? She went, uh, I think she did get the, she got a beet salad, okay. uh, deviled eggs, and okay. chicken wings to start. Okay. Then they got a burger and the grain bowl. Okay. Yeah. Because I know she's going to post the pictures and she's cool. going to finish it. I just didn't see it because she's waiting until we did the show and then yes. it was going to go up. So awesome. I know they had them all set. So thank you so much for coming on. One it more thing great. before before I go. I, <laughs> we're doing our six-year anniversary party this Sunday. It oh, starts wow, at okay. 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. This Sunday. It's going to be wild. Live music, drinks, food, get crazy. It sounds amazing. Yeah. So six years. Wow. Congratulations, guys. So, thank you. Thank you so much for coming on, and we appreciate you for participating. Yes. And we take the pictures, and we put them on Rochester <laughs> Women Magazine online. We just struck a deal with them. There's going to be an oh, article cool. in every issue with the restaurants we feature at. So Nice. You'll be on multiple media. So Can't wait. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Get ready for Eyes of Show next.